This is Azure Conference Tracker support, and today we'll be going over how to link your Conference Tracker sessions to your OBS Live presentations. Now, this is part three of a video series, so if you haven't watched them yet, please watch parts one and two. The links will be provided in the description box below. So coming from our previous video, our next step is to create a session in Conference Tracker that will be linked to your OBS presentation. Let's navigate over to Conference Tracker and sign into your account. If you have multiple Conference Tracker accounts, here you can select the correct one and then type in your password. Once you're signed in, let's go over to the left-hand navigation menu and click on Conference and then Sessions. Here, you will have two options. If you have not yet created your session, click on the blue Create button. Or if you have a pre-existing session you would like to edit, simply click on the session's title and you will be taken to the session edit screen. In this case, we're going to create a new session, but the screens are very similar. Once you're creating or editing your session, fill out the session information as you normally would with the session title, start and end times, room location, credit information, and so on. Once you are finished with the required setup, scroll towards the bottom of the screen and you will see a section labeled Attendance Mode. Here we will need to pick either Online or Mixed. This will make this session available online and offer an additional section of settings labeled Streaming. Let's pick Online for this case. And here are the Streaming Settings. In the Streaming Settings, pick Built-in in the Service drop-down menu and Live in the Mode drop-down menu. Once you have made all other necessary changes to your session, click on the green Save Changes button at the bottom of the screen. You will then be taken back to the main sessions page. And here is the brand new session we just created. We are now ready to perform the final steps to begin your stream. In the main sessions list screen, find the session we just created or the one you will be set to live stream. Click on the three dots button at the far right of the session and click on the Start Streaming button. On the next screen, you will see a button that says Start Setup. Don't worry, clicking on this button only begins the setup of the stream, and your presentation will not go live yet. Click on the button and give Conference Tracker a few minutes to initialize the setup. Once the setup finishes, you will be at the streaming screen. Please note, do not close this page. If you close this page, your stream will end. So if you need to use Conference Tracker while still streaming, we advise to open a new window or a new tab and visiting Conference Tracker that way. Now on this screen, you will see some session information, your social feed information for your session, and some instructions on how to stream with OBS Studio. In this list of steps, we will need two pieces of information, the server address and the stream key. This is the information we'll need to insert into the OBS settings in order to connect Conference Tracker with OBS. So now on my screen, on the left-hand side, I have the Conference Tracker streaming page, and on the right-hand side, I have my OBS presentation. Since part two, I did modify my presentation a little, and if you need help setting up your presentation in this format, please email us at conftrack at engineerica.com. But for now, let's just link Conference Tracker to OBS. So first step, we will go over to File on OBS, click on Settings, then on the left-hand side, we'll click on the Stream panel, and then we will see that your service is custom and it is looking for a server and stream key, which is what Conference Tracker is providing us. Over on the Conference Tracker window, if we simply click on the server, you'll get a dialog box that says copy to clipboard. Click OK. And then back on OBS, right click on their server and click on paste. We will do the same with the stream key. Click on the stream key. It will be copied to your clipboard. Click OK, right click over on Stream Key in OBS, and click on Paste. If you want to double check that it did copy and paste correctly, click on the Show button. Once you're finished, click Apply, then OK. And now OBS and Conference Tracker are linked together. Once you're ready to push your presentation live for your attendees, simply click on the Start Streaming button. and you should see some information about your stream at the bottom of the toolbar. Once you're finished with your stream, simply click on Stop Streaming, and also click on Stop Streaming on Conference Tracker. 
Once you click Stop Streaming on Conference Tracker, your session will now be complete. Thank you so much for watching this video series, and if you have any questions, please email us at conftrack at engineerica.com. Thank you and have a great day.